The chief of the Cherokee Nation wants Jeep to stop using its name. Of course, he's talking about the very popular Jeep SUV models, the Cherokee and the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Cherokee Nation Chief Chuck Hoskin Jr. told Car and Driver Magazine, quote, I'm sure this comes from a place that is well intended, but it does not honor us by having our name plastered on the side of a car. In response, the company said our vehicle names have been carefully chosen and nurtured over the years to honor and celebrate Native American people for their nobility, prowess, and pride. But DBL Nation, we got to hear from you on this one. Should Jeep change the name of its popular SUV models? Go to dblvote.com, weigh in. We got to hear from you. Uh, Jeff, chime in. And Tori, I know you're there. We want to hear from you, Jeff, and then uh, Tori, please. Tori, I could do without, but I'm just kidding. I'm trying to lighten <laughs> the mood a little bit here. Uh, this is tough that you don't have this <laughs> counterpoint right now, especially with that emotional conversation that we just had. But uh, yeah. it's hard to argue it also because this is coming coming from the chief of the Cherokee Nation, right? So it's tough for me to sit here and say, I think this is a little crazy to say something like that, but this is the chief coming out and saying it. So if he doesn't like it, maybe they should think about changing, but there is marketing involved here, right? There is economic value involved here. They've had that name for a long time. So maybe some reparations, if, is that the right word? If they wanna go on using that name, that's cool. You could use this name, we don't like it, but you have to pay the Cherokee Nation X amount of money per vehicle sold. So I think that's a good way to say, like to, to go around that. But they not only had Cherokee, they got Grand Cherokee, they got uh, Comanche, I believe. So they tripled down. So this wasn't a thing for them, but I can't, apparently for the Cherokee Nation it is. And Tori, they've had this name since 1974. Yeah, and I hear what Jeff said about reparations, and I actually don't hate that idea. I'm going to steal something from Erica Cobb that we talked about earlier. Is the response was so tone deaf when the Cherokee Nation leader or chief said, this isn't honoring us, and the... The Jeep guy was like, yeah, it is. That's not cool. You can't just say it is because you like took time to study the prowess of the people. So at some point, I think uh, the response was pretty tone deaf, at least as Erica said, have a conversation. I mean, that's really what he should have done is said, let's meet. Let's okay, talk. But not everybody's agreeing with you and Jeff here. And then Erica, I want you to respond to these comments because I'm getting in comments really quickly here. So we have uh, right here, okay, and my phone just restarted itself. Shoot, here we go. Um, <laughs> I know, welcome to uh, the 21st century in a studio that has no uh, internet service. Okay, so we have <laughs> Jay Moon on Twitter. What about the Kansas City Chiefs? Are they next? Where is the line? Mark on Twitter, as an Irish American, I demand an end to Lucky Charm. Irish Spring Soap, Notre Dame Fighting Irish, and the Boston Celtics. And Betty says if Jeep wishes to honor Native Americans by using the name Cherokee, then Jeep should pay the Cherokee Nation with more than cheap words. And then, Erica, we do have a lot of comments saying that this is too far. Well, I mean, a lot of people who have no interest whatsoever, especially no vested interest, they don't even own a Cherokee and, and have no ties to Cherokee Nation. If someone says, I am offended, and you say, no, you're not, because I said you're not, like, I mean, that conversation was so tone deaf from the beginning. How are you going to say it doesn't honor my heritage, and then Jeep comes back and says, no, we have every intention to honor it. They said it didn't. That's the end of the conversation. <laughs> you could say, let's come to the table and have a conversation. I love the idea of like, all right, let's talk about the financial end of that because that's what everyone's talking about. Jeep has had Cherokee for 40 something years, not longer than Cherokee Nation has had Cherokee. All right, let's talk about that. Oh, let's see what the final vote is. 79% uh, of you say no, they should not change the name. However, I should say, and I shut off my phone so I forget the name, but one of our DBL viewers said they've been buying a, J a Jeep Cherokee for years. And now that they've heard from the chief and they've really thought about it they're no longer gonna buy a Jeep Cherokee. But would they pay a wow. little bit extra to buy that right that that's a, a that's a interesting question we have more time a I, better internet service <laughs> <laughs>